Ah, uh, welcome back to another episode of Scandinavia! Guys, we're in a war. And so, we're in a war right now, and so what we're going to do is we're going to win this war. How are we going to win this war? With our superior might and tactics. So I'm going to send my army that I split up earlier this, this episode to go right here and start sieging some of this land. Um, as far as I can see, Bohemia can handle Hungary. Hungry pretty dang easily, so I don't have to worry about Hungry being of a threat to me. And it seems like Bohemia is now completely happy with me. Um, they now accept me as the leader of the Holy Roman Empire, which is what we wanted. So now we can start working on other people like Saxony. Could I get Saxony to start liking us? Hmm. Yes, I could. But I'd have to figure out Brunswick, Brandenburg. I think Brandenburg's also these guys' enemy, right? Yeah, so Brandenburg is definitely someone I won't try to get up, but these guys? Hmm. Yeah, we'll definitely try to do that. That seems like a smart idea. Because with those people, we could start doing a lot of things. Anyways, let's get our armies down and landed and just start destroying the Teutonic Order. I mean, we'll see if we want to take something from Teutonic Order, since they're not actually a part of any particular empire. We just might want to just take it all from them. And, like I said, Danish Patriots, who do you think is orchestrating them? Okay. Oh. And apparently we won. Wow. That was really quick. I was going- I didn't even get to land my troops, and we already won. Wow. <laughs> Didn't even land my troops, guys. That's how quickly this war went. Okay. And then over here, we have all these Danish patriots. Danish people. They're going... Yeah, this is why I want them to die. Because they're going to cause me trouble. And we have to deal with that. And how are we doing on the peace treaty with these guys? Are we done yet? They'll still have a troops. Okay. Um... Okay. We combined our men again. Hmm. Well, I don't seem like we have much trouble over here. Oh gosh. I really want to go send an army to go into the new world just so we have an army. But do I really need it? I mean, my, my new world seems to be doing great on its own. Well, let's see. How much men do we have that we could raise for? Okay. What I'll do is I'll, is I'll actually build an army over here in New St. James, the gateway to the new world. Ah! Okay. Uh, actually, it's technically Ericsford that'd be the great gateway to the new world, but it's really New St. James, because this is where everyone goes. Anyways, um, what I'm going to start doing is, I'll produce an actual army from over here. That way, maybe the colonists won't get mad at me if I, like, raise taxes. So, two, one Latin army, and one Coltrane. There we go. That will be my Imperial Colonial Army. They could deal with it, they could do with what with it what they want. Eh, good news. Sugar, yes! Oh gosh, sugar is such a valuable resource in this game. Oh, sugar's like gold, man. Sugar's like gold. Oh gosh. Okay, so we got sugar in that colony. We got our armies just like stacked over here. We're not even really doing anything. We're just kind of like... Oh. Oh, what the... There we go. That, that was weird. I just had my mouse sensitivity just like turned down. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to be cruising through this for a little bit. No, declared more on Molster. Yeah. That usually does happen. Yeah, Saxony. Oh, uh, yeah. But anyway, Saxony seems to be liking me a little bit more. Um, what I could also do, because honestly, I just need three people to vote for me. And people are probably wondering, wait, why do I only need three? Well, let's see. If I can get him to like me, I divide the, uh, I divide the Austrian vote into a three to two ratio. Okay? So it'll be two, two, three. So all I need to do is just convince one other person to like me, and we basically have our uh, empire. All right, and let's see, when am I going to get that core? Wait, do I already have this core on Denmark? Because I want to go declare war as quickly as possible. You have no diplomats to send. Okay, um... I'm going to stop improving relationships with them, because we already have basically maxed out relations. 
I'm gonna go send it to here, so I can go kill both. I'm gonna go kill Denmark as quickly as possible. I'm seriously not joking with you guys. I'm seriously gonna go kill Denmark as soon as possible. Let's see, do I have a core? Yes, I do. They are Alex Oh, come on! Oh, come on! How did they do that? Oh, gosh. I'm now I'm gonna have to wait. So if I want to take Denmark out, I'm gonna have to wait for... Norway to be distracted, and they're in a coalition against Scandinavia. Speaking of which, who is in a coalition against me right now? Oh, by the way, if you guys didn't notice, there is a new coalition map mode. Oh, wait a minute, all these people must be... Oh. They aren't actually allied with them, right? They're just... Yeah, you see, they have all these cores. I mean, that's not good. Um, but I don't think they're actually in... I don't think they're actually allied with them. I think they're just... They're just in a, uh, as a conquest, in a coalition. Yeah, they aren't actually allied with Muscovy and all these other guys. They just have, they just have a militaristic conquest against me. Okay, that makes a difference right there. That, take, that makes a huge difference. Because I thought we were going to do that. And how are we doing on technology right now? Because I'm a little bit worried. I haven't been spending much technology and, oh my goodness, we are falling behind. 10, 12, 12, yeah, we are falling behind. Gosh, that stinks. Right, maybe we need to, like I said, maybe we do need to cool down a little bit. I'm going to go send my army to go kill this one ship. Just because it's been bugging me this entire game and I finally got around to it. Okay. Um, also, let me see. Where am I? Uh, let's see. How many ships can I? Holy shit, I can build a lot of ships. Okay, well, I'm going to start. I'm going to start a building process. I'm going to start building um, lots of flights. Just because, um, four, five, uh, yeah, there we go. We can build five. Because I want to start, uh, influencing my trade nodes a little bit more. Because right now we have one trade node right here that's doing, eh, okay. And we have most of the trade in here, I know that. But it would be nice if we owned all of the trade of the 96, the 96 overall trade power. Or the 10, the trade value of 10. I mean, it's a pretty... We have a pretty good value in this. I mean, we have 41 over here, what we did, until the Hussians took it over. Gosh, you evil, evil Hussians. London Traino, we do have some in. Alright, and then New Vinland is just... Gosh. Rebels, everyone, rebels. You just can't live without them. We have gained a province, yay! Did we... Does that mean we get now colonists? Yes, we do. Okay. Once you have the ability to, I will build you guys. Once I have the ability to, I'm going to build you guys an actual proper defensive force. Alright. Okay. Now let me see. Let's send this to Connecticut. Or do we want to go a little bit lower? Mm. Mm. Oh, and there's my army. Yes! So now I have an actual intercolonial army. Um. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's go right here. This is actually, this is going to link up my colonies together, but also it's because this has like a 5 value to like trade. Like, extracted from this province when it becomes a full city. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's pretty good. And another place converted to the faith. Okay, we still got tons and tons of places. But we're getting there. We are slowly and surely converting everywhere. Um, but yeah, if I want to get... I want to get this, I'm going to have to save about 500 gold, so maybe that's what I'll start doing. How much am I making a year? Not enough to really, let's just slightly deep spend for a little bit. I mean, it's not like we have to do much for a little bit. Okay, and we just destroyed that. Spare no expense, or just diplomatic power, I don't really need that. Alright, let's go right here. Okay, we got our new ships. Dock right there. Let's just chill out. This game is going so great. <laughs> okay, we got can now invest in a new idea. I don't really want to. I want to get some tech stuff. Because right now we are, let's see, how are we doing? Neighbor bonus, ooh, that's bad. Neighbor bonus, that's really bad. That, that's seriously really bad. When your neighbors start to actually overlap you like that, that's really, really seriously bad. So we're going to have to be really careful about that. How is our overextension? Um, besides the Lahis, we've basically got most of it all done. They're all going to be basically finished around 1563. Yeah, 1563 around there. So we just have to wait till then. Family secret? 
the first time you brush it off, when it happens the second and third time, you do begin to wonder, why do people laugh at you when they think you can't hear them? Um, after you were asked around for more than a bit, you finally managed to get an answer out of a chambermaid. It appears that your heir has been running around town in most of the unchristian fashion, and that your family is now becoming the laughing stock of Europe. Scold him publicly. Because that's what we do in Scandinavia. We don't like scandals. Ah. Okay. Let's just get these guys all together. And you guys are going to protect Holt. Oh, wait. These are not... Whoops. These are new carrying things. New carrying ships. Whoops. Well, at least I need to upgrade anyway. So let's see. Yeah, because I have old ships. Yeah, I have old cogs. Let's just start getting this. Yeah, I actually did need to do this anyways. We need to start upgrading our military anyways, so yeah, let's start doing that. Um, granted, I did not expect to be making that much of a wrong choice, but yeah, it's, we have to... It's time for us to start deleting some of our bad things. Okay, see ya. Okay. Uh, Thanksgiving... Wait, friendship with natives! Yay! Oh gosh, that's so great. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, yeah, so let's just start let's just start upgrading a little bit. Let's just start upgrading our entire fleet. So flights. Let's build two flights there. Two flights there. And that's four, so that means nine. One more just for ten. There we go. Okay, let's continue! Alright, we lost the claim of one of our provinces, Trundelag. Huh, wonder how we lost the claim of Trundelag. Can I still declare one of them? No, I cannot. So, yeah, and I'm still at a kind of awkward state right now, where I can't do much. And how are we doing in convincing Saxony to like us? Uh, it's going pretty good. Um... Um, we could offer them a royal marriage. Saxony. Let me make sure my other lines says, yeah, Teutonic Order, Poland, and Brandenburg. No, you guys basically like me. So I can give you guys the royal marriage, which will give you guys very, very much happy with me. Saxony, wherever it is, it's right there. It's at war with, uh, Punitive War. And then if you guys would give me an alliance, now I can help you out whenever you guys need to help me out. Although I'm gonna wait for you guys to send it yourselves. Okay, our uh, diplomat go to yay. So let's see, and the diplomatic power of these guys is weakening just a little bit at a time. Good. Oh my goodness, Saxony is like a big one too. It's like a big power down here. Let's just send him a diplomatic alliance. There we go. He's now in the militaristic alliance, so... Oh, and he's at war with my friend, Bohemia. Great. You guys are not... You guys are not helping you guys this case, so... I got full diplomatic power. Oh my goodness! I almost overpassed Austria. I just need to get one more thing, and I know what it is. Okay, not this. Proclaim guarantee. There we go. That should tip us over the edge. That should tip us into... Nope. It doesn't help us out. Okay, well, I know one other thing that will. Okay, let's just get down here. Send a gift. That should that should tip us over the edge. Now, that should definitely tip us over the edge, because that's at least a 10 plus modifier. So, next turn, we will definitely be in the HRE. Or at least we'll be a definite contender for the HRE. Okay, 25 for 15. Okay, let's give him 25, because I just... Uh, 50 just in case. There we go. And is that... Yes! Okay. So now, we just have to wait. Yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, yes! It's slowly working, guys. We just now need to figure out one of these guys is... Well, actually, I need specifically one of, um... Austria's bad friends, bad friends, that's not what I meant, but, oh god, so, is it po so it is literally possible that I can get past the negative relationships, yes I can, 
Okay, so I just need to keep improving relationships, so I need to... F so I can't get past the negative relationships. I just need to find a good vassal to, like, hang on to. Let's see. Let's try you guys. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm slowly wo I'm slowly working my way inside the HRE's... HRE's faction. I mean, they know what's happening. They know I must be, like... There's an outsider coming from the... Coming from the Northlands. Why are we letting him run through our country and control it? And I'll be like, Psh, gosh, uh, I don't know. I'm just here. Psh, and I'm going to be here forever. And I got more stuff. Sorry about that, guys. I have to. I was playing I was playing with my dishes over here. Uh, let's see. I uh, can place one merchant research. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Okay. Okay. Now yeah, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> but yes, this whole HRE voting in. Um. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna have to work hard at it. We are getting closer and closer. That's all I gotta say. It seems like a couple places decide to be jerks, revolt. It doesn't seem like that strong revolt though. Usually I would deal with way stronger ones. It seems like they're actually starting to get a little bit weaker as we go along in this game. That one's not weak though. That one I'm actually gonna have to go send a decent amount of soldiers to go crush. Okay, that's and this is partly why I kept my army over here was because these guys just don't want to mess around. Oh, really? I'm gonna have to fund my soldiers for this. Fund them. Fund all my soldiers just to kill these couple rebels. Oh gosh. Okay. Once these guys also go kill these rebels, then I think I'm done. All right, and I'm almost there. Okay, they definitely like us now by a lot. I just have to get Savoy now on my side. Once Savoy is on my side, they like us now. They have no negative um, aggression penalties with me. Um, in terms of prestige, I'm having a little bit of rebel problems, not good tonight. Okay, seems like they just like retreated, so I'm just gonna go send these guys over here. I got my new ship of Carex, which is nice. We have to start building even more stuff. So I'm gonna have to start getting my army back to being the most advanced thing in Europe. Instead of being like one of the most Ah Who loves comets, everyone? I don't love comets, but luckily I have enough just to switch them up again. It's a good thing I do, otherwise that would probably cost me a lot. Mm-hmm. A lot. Oh gosh. National modifier description. Unique buildings. Should I build any buildings? No, I'm trying to save up for that protectorate, for that protectorate thing with the religion. Because I want to make sure that if I'm going to do this, if I become the protector of the religion, okay, let's see. A royal marriage with Saxony. Ew. Um, dude. Uh, we're just friends. Um, I, I hate to say it, but we're just friends. I mean, you're already voting for me, right? By a lot, you were voting for me. Um, yeah, we're just friends right now. I mean, you're fine and all, you're great, but it, it, it's really not you. It's me. It's me, okay? I just want you to understand that. Okay. Uh, oh, gosh. Overall, overall managers, guys. Overall managers, am I right? Alright, let's just get back right here. Let's see. Are they still voting for me, by the way? Yes, they are still voting for me. Okay. Just want to make sure about that, and we're just going to stay right here. Okay, how's the colonies doing? Oh, I can do a new colony now. Yes. I mean, somebody finished. Probably my Tortuga, my Tortuga one. Uh, no, my Tortuga one did not finish. So then, one of my colonies failed. Oh, Dang it. Hate you. Alright, well now I... Oh, wait a minute. I actually have an army over here. Oh, those rebels are about to get snapped. Before I end this episode, we're going to see the rebels get destroyed. I'm going to also do build that. Um, start coin an early rampart. Good. I'm going to start getting this side of the colony now. I want to make sure all of Espen Espinosa is all mine. Just start walking through all these guys for a second. Yeah, just kill all these natives. We're going to go kill all the natives in Umami. You know what? They have now aggravated me. They just destroyed an entire colony of mine. I mean, I could kind of get off of them if they did not do that, but... Okay. Okay, we're going to have to wait for our colony to come here. 
So I'm gonna give my gonna end the episode once we do that. So we'll go a little bit faster. We got new tech. We can also convert some people. Let me do that now. Just keep converting. That's all I say. Just keep on converting. All right, we got new technological te techno ah technology. Okay. All right, just have to wait. Okay. Just have to wait. 128 days. Give me one second. Okay. Just have to wait one second, and then we're almost there. We're almost there. These guys are almost there. These guys are happy with what they did. Yay! We have officially integrated all those guys into our place. Except for this one, because it was a jerk. Okay, I'm going to put these on Stomp Rebels now. Now that we've got a little bit safer Empire. Stomp Rebels. Okay. Go back to here. Okay, and over here to this colony. Oh, uh, natives, uh, I got something to say to you. Oh, you die! Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. It was a fun episode today, and I'll see you guys next time.